take my hand and together we will vlog. Alright, tonight I uh, didn't really do much, but I did watch uh, No Country for Old Men by the Coen Brothers, and uh, I don't I don't even know what to say. Like, I'd seen shots from it before. <laughs> it's a very well shot, very, um, very, 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 apparently. Uh, <laughs> it's a good movie, but... I feel like I need to qualify that to myself because I will, it didn't satisfy me in the end. Like some of their other stuff was more satisfying or it ended and it was like, wow, yeah, that was really good. Um, and I get the whole mood of it and I'm even fine with some movies that don't tell, like the story they tell is a glimpse into someone's life. Um, but I don't know. There's, I guess I just was still unsettled by the end of the movie and, um, yeah, <laughs> it's not to say that I didn't like watching it, like in the moment of watching it. That's why I have to, you know, that's why I say it was good, but uh, I can see a lot of people not liking it. Anyway, um, there was a scene in the movie where uh, your main killer, I don't remember his name, but... Um, Cigar, Cigar, I think is how you say his name. Anyway, he's picking pellets out of his leg from a shotgun. And, uh, I don't know why. In the moment I was watching that, I wasn't like, oh gosh. Actually, I was thinking, well, I guess if I came down to it, I could probably do that. Like, and the, the reason is because I've had planter warts on my, on my foot before. Um, like, five years ago now. <laughs> and, um. Once went to get it treated and frozen, like they cut a little bit and then they froze it at the dermatologist. Cost a whole lot of money, and I said, nope, never doing that again. From there, I bought the over-the-counter acid and did what they tell you not to do. Started cutting on it on, by myself, tweezing parts of it off, putting acid on it, and letting it sit. So if I could do that and just literally dig in, like inches into the sole of my foot, I just, I think I could pull pellets out of my arm. <laughs> it's out of this. All right, that's all I'm going to say today. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you later.